What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to episode number three of this mini series here in Slam Diego. We've got the San Diego Padres rebuild. We are in the month of May. In the last episode we simulated the full month of April and we now continue on. This video will probably contain the first year player draft. I'm not 100% sure what else. Maybe a couple of gameplay clips or something. I don't know, but you'll guys have to wait and see because I don't even know what it will contain. But before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you guys. Let's get into the video. All right, here we are in May 1st, 2020. We are currently 17 and 14 going up against the 23 and 7 LA Dodgers who have 6 and 0 Trevor Bauer on the mound. So that's not going to be good. We've got a big busy month of May. And I don't know <laughs> I don't I don't I think we're doing good. We are doing very good. Manny Machado's got 5 home runs, 19 ribbies. Will Myers has 5 home runs. Uh, obviously we lost um, Fernando Tatis for about a month in the end of the last episode. You guys remember that. Max Muncy has five home runs. Luis Robert or Luis Robert has four home runs, 12 RBIs. As for the pitching staff, I mean, Blake Snell's three and two, two and three for you, Darvish, three and one for Clevenger, Denilson Lamette, four and one, and Luis Castillo is one and four. So. Uh, Luis, I, I wanted you to be a little bit better than what you ended up being right now. Uh, we've got torn groin Fernando Tatis Jr. He's still got 56 days on the on the DL or on the IL. I think is what they they termed it now. Uh, let's let's keep going. Let's simulate a few weeks into the month of May and see how everybody's looking. I'll simulate to the. 10th of May against that final game against the Dodgers, and we'll see how the team is looking from there. Okay, so we are back. We are 20 and 19, and this was not a good stretch, especially the Dodgers. I knew going into this series that the Dodgers were going to be tough, but the Dodgers are really tough. The Dodgers are extremely difficult to play against. Denilson Lament's having a great season, everybody else is kind of just there. I guess we're still waiting on uh, Fernando to come back from injury. He's got 47 days left on the injured list. I'm, I'm going to simulate to the game against the Reds. We're going to play game one against the Reds in this video because it's at it's at Great American Ballpark, and I'm obviously a Cincinnati Reds fan. So, you know what? I may simulate this game against the Reds in on the 25th because it's a MLB Network game. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. I'll I'll catch you guys on the 25th when we play against the Reds. All right. So we're here in uh, the game against the Reds, but I do want to bring up another injury that we just got. I just got hit with you Darvish on the injury list. He's fractured his wrist, so he is out for one to two months. He's got 59 days. We just put him on the the uh, IL. Fernando Tatis still out for about a month with. Uh, with his torn groin so he won't be in this game against the reds we are getting hit pretty hard we have had a rough go of it we are currently 26 and 26 that is good for third in the division and uh, nine and a half games back of first place which is absolutely crazy but now we've got this game against cincinnati on the 25th of may let's see if we can get a w we've already won two games against them let's simulate this final game and we win so we win the series against the Reds, but we've got one more game against them, and we're going to play that. The draft is in nine days, so that will be after this video, or after this uh, game, and let's play Cincinnati. Brandon Shipley is on the mound for the Reds in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got first inning here in Great American Ballpark, ballpark against the Reds. And Brandon Shipley is the starting pitcher for Cincinnati. And I may have just hit a... Thought I just hit a home run in, in the first pitch. 
That would have been crazy. But Brandon Shipley's got an 0-6 record, so I thought my guys were struggling on the mound this season, but it turns out there are teams that are struggling a little bit more, at least players that are struggling a little bit more in the, around the league than uh, than we are. They're 15-37, and 37, so we are much more better off than Cincinnati is this season, which is not much of a shock, and that's coming from a Cincinnati Reds fan who may have just... I'm getting so close! on these pitches they're they're looking like they're going out of the park but they're just coming up short uh, and you may notice that the reds are wearing some uh, some alternate uniforms that is because these are my favorite cincinnati reds jerseys they have ever worn in their entire history in my opinion and these are just the road uniforms so that's why I chose them. <laughs> and if I end up doing a Reds rebuild on Man or on MLB 21, you may see these jerseys a lot <laughs> in that series because I just I love them so much. It's the jerseys they were wearing when I fell in love with the Cincinnati Reds. So it's just why I have such a connection with them. But that's why uh, that's why they're wearing them. And if you could hear, I don't know if you could hear or not, but. The people behind me in the behind the the catcher in the stands were singing "Overrated" to Manny Machado, which is pretty funny. Oh, and I uh, I reached for that one. I should not have swung. It's two and two. He's worked it to two and two. I should have had three and one, honestly. Let's see if he can if we can get out of this with a big hit no Manny Machado Manny Machado is a little bit tired this year or not this year this uh, this game he's been playing a lot so maybe that's why he kind of slumping a little bit I'm not 100% sure we've got Luis Castillo which is why I wanted to play this game because I saw that Luis Castillo was the starting pitcher and obviously this is the team that we took him from at the beginning of the season so it's kind of a little bit of a homecoming this is the first time I'm pretty sure he's played against Cincinnati this season I don't think we've come against the Reds at all earlier they do have D Gordon here this is the updated rosters or at least we started out with the updated rosters roster so D Gordon is on the Reds although I think his name is now D Strange Gordon I think is what his name is now it's weird but it's what he wanted so <laughs> more power to you dude I don't really care let's see if we can strike him out with Luis Castillo who's been in a little bit of a slump but we get a big strikeout with Castillo on the first batter of the day now we've got Eric Hosmer let's see what we can do against Hosmer he's a big bat he's got a lot of power to him he could he's an instant home run if he gets a hold of one Ooh, nice movement on the force or on the two seamer that was a little bit disgusting if you ask me and now we go with a slider back to back strikeouts for Castillo two up and two down via the strikeout ball now we've got uh, Jesse Winker and Jesse Winker goes long Jesse Winker goes yard on first pitch swinging. Wow, Jesse. First pitch fastball was where he wanted it, I guess. And they take an early 1 0 lead. That is not how I wanted to start this. Okay. We got Nicholas Castillo. Let's see if we can uh, come back from that home run. First pitch? First pitch, he took that yard? I cannot believe. Jesse Winker just did that to me. He never does that for me. Why did he do it against me now? And now we can't get the ball. It goes up the middle. Gets past the second baseman. And the Reds are starting to rally here. We need some good momentum here. We've got nice pitch. Nice pitch. Let's see if... Ooh, okay. The Moose is up, and we got him down 2-0. Or 0-2, I should say. Not 2-0. Slider. Got him. Strike three. So we escaped the inning with just one home run. I still can't believe Jesse did that to me. That's a little bit dirty. Jesse went a little bit dirty, but you guys know the drill. Now, from now on, I'll just show you guys the highlights if anything good happens. Mind to the right side. 
and he'll lay wow. and make a spectacular catch. Wow. Castellanos just did the dirty on me. That's crazy. It has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't. Nice slide and stop by Zobris. Nice double play. Let's go. I got a little bit worried there that he wasn't going to get that off well, Zobris, but you got it. Best friend right there. Double play. Big double play. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, that's a fair ball. That's a double. That's a two bagger. What a hit from the young South Korean. Let's go. I didn't think that was going to be fair. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not working. He snuck that in the inside of the bag. Oh, that's a big hit from Castillo. It's going to drive the run to third, but that's about it. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Big hit from Zobris, but he gets underneath it. And they retire us with a runner in scoring position. Strike three, let's go. Get out of the inning. Suck it, Jesse Winker. Big hit from Manny. He drove it. He drove that like a 1936 Chevy. I don't know if they made Chevys in 1936. I don't think they did. <laughs> oh, Tyler Naquin has both hands on his back trying to work through some stiffness. The trainer believes that the injury is such that a few days rest will make him as good as new. But he'll be removed from the game. Okay. Tyler Naquin's out of the game with some back stiffness. Shogo Akiyama is in the game. Shogo. I love Shogo. And now it's time for some Yasiel Puig. Francisco Mejia puts one deep. Francisco Mejia, three run banger. Let's go, number one of the season. What a time to do it too. A three run dinger. Boom, let's go baby. Big W. Look at that bad boy. That's why I love playing at Great American Ballpark, because you can get home runs like that. Got him, strike three. Nicholas Castellanos is down. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Hammered the other way to deep right field. No way. No way. Oh, thought that was going for a homer, too. I'm getting so close on some of these. Strike three, baby. Get out of here, ship. You ain't nothing. He's racking the one two. Now a chopper to first might only get one. The second for one. What a double play. Heads up play, big brain abilities. Boy, oh boy. This point count is one and two now. Strike three. Get out of here, Castellanos. You ain't nothing either. Castillo is where it's at, baby. Personally known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Swung on, and this ball. Oh, I left that one in the zone. Way up into the moon deck, and out of here. That was my fault. That was my fault. I left that slider way too high in the zone. Ah, that sucks. A solo good job to get the bat on that one. Got him with a fastball, straight fastball, side of the plate. Let's go. I still can't believe I left that over the middle. That sucks. What a double play. Easy money. Got the pinch hitter to the ground down to a double play. Let's keep it going. Good effort on the dive that time, but this will get I'm sending my man to third. Mistake. Absolute mistake. I shouldn't have done it. You gotta be kidding me. A two run blast to straight away right field. They've taken a one run lead. Balls jump. 
fastball. Big strikeout. Big strikeout. The second time today. I know he's been struggling early, but that big strikeout to get out of the inning. We're still alive. That will do it. But I don't know how much longer. We only got three outs. The Reds do push across. Bouncer up the middle. No, that's going to do it. Oh, we lost, and it's all my fault, too. The only way they scored was home runs, and I left them all in the middle. Oh, I screwed us in that one. I screwed us in that one. I sold. I sold. All right, now that we are done with the game, we can go to the first-year player draft, which I'm pretty sure is the 3rd of June. I'm not 100% sure. I think it is. But we can simulate there. I'll simulate it live. We might as well. Let's do it. See if we can get some W's. We got some inner. Oh, we got a trade offer. Reese McGuire for Tommy Pham. Reese McGuire. Not the greatest player in the world by any means. No, we're not going to. No, no. Sorry, Blue Jays. We're not taking that deal. You crazy. Uh, Elliot Ashback. Keep active. Ooh, we're going on a little bit of a run. We went on a little bit of a run there. That's exactly what we needed to do, too. We went on a, what is that, one, two, three, four, five-game win streak after losing to Cincinnati. So if I would have beat Cincinnati, we would have had a six, seven, eight, nine, ten-game win streak. Oh, man, if I would have just beat Cincinnati, I screwed myself on that one. So we got three days to go before the draft. We beat Miami again. Let's go play San Francisco. Tommy Pham is out for about one to two weeks, but he should be good to go. The draft is in one day, and we are on a little bit of a roll here. We are on a little bit of a roll. Let's check the injured list. Fernando Tatis comes back in 24 days, so that's good news. The standings, we are in second place now. We've taken uh, second place back from the, Dodge, or from the Diamondbacks, and we are currently six games back of the Dodgers. So... It's not out of the realm of possibility that we could win the division. I mean, we got to play really good. And the final game of the uh, simulation before we get to the draft. Did I skip the draft? Wait, did I just skip the player draft? I may have. Hold on. Sim to draft. All-star races in one day. Wait, what? Play next game? No, not play next game. Are you sure you want to? Yes. Today is the 2020 first year play. Okay, I got a little bit worried there for a second. What would you like to do? Go to the draft. Our pick is pick eight, so that's fantastic. So let's advance. Let's see. Uh, everybody's got 80 potential here. There's going to be some good guys here, obviously. We've got, oh, look at our accuracy. Look at our accuracy. Who's the highest overall that we have? Uh, so this guy, Juan Rodriguez, international. He's got 80 potential and he's got 70 overall. And we've got him fully scouted so we know exactly what he's going to be. He might be a big, big pickup for us. Let's look at some of these guys. So, wow, Peter Nobles is a burner. Okay, so he's got speed. He's got stealing. He's got decent potential for contact. He looks like a, a good burner player. I probably wouldn't take him with the eighth pick. Raymond Ma has good stamina, really good velocity. He's 22. He's from Taiwan. He looks pretty decent. Paul Brinkley, great stamina, great velocity, great break, great arm strength. Wow, this guy could be a number one. This guy looks like he could be a number one for sure. That's awesome. John Telshaw. John Telshaw. Wow. John, a first baseman. He's 65 overall, 80 potential. He's got great contact, good power. That's what's something you don't really find in these prospects when you're scouting or when you're uh, going through the draft. You don't really find guys with tremendous power. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on this uh, John Telshaw. He might be the move. Uh, what are we looking like for Geronimo Cedeno? Good 
Ks per nine, good break, good velocity, good hitting per nine. He looks like a good prospect too. Josh Bennett, a good defensive catcher. Uh, Andre Cisneros, he looks like a decent player. Ronald or Randall McDonald, I almost said Ronald McDonald, doesn't look like the greatest of players. Uh, Jose Arroyo is good at stealing, good defensive shortstop, probably not the pick. It's probably, oh, this guy looks real good too. It's probably between, in my opinion, it's probably between John Telshaw and Juan Rodriguez. That's what I'm thinking between these guys. Let's take a look at some of these other guys. Good stamina, good uh, walks per nine. Oh, this guy looks good too. Steve Cordero. He's got good hits per nine, good Ks per nine. There's some good players in this in this draft. But I'm really looking... Oh, I kind of want to take both of them, to be honest. But I think this John Teltshaw guy is the move. He's got great contact, great power. He's got good discipline, decent fielding for a first baseman. He looks like he could be a beast. He's from Texas. He's a lefty-lefty. Yeah, I, I think we take John Telshaw with this pick. Uh, did that Juan Rodriguez guy go? Yeah, ah, he did. He went already. That stinks. I was kind of hoping he'd make it. I was kind of hoping that he would make it a little bit further. Uh, now that we are running low on guys that we've scouted, now we just got to go with good potential guys. And I'm looking at... Oh, I don't want to draft him. I'm looking at this guy, David Calderon, who's got really good speed. He's a burner. Uh, we could get Damian Telshaw. We could get the Telshaw brothers. That's pretty cool. This guy's got good contact, decent power, good speed, good fielding. Wow, this guy looks really good too. We could get, we could get the Telshaw brothers. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Johnny Gomez. There's some decent guys down here. This guy looks really good. Really, he looks like a really solid player. Like this guy is what you want on your team. He's he's got solid numbers across the board. That guy looks really good, too. There's some decent guys down here, but I kind of want to get this guy's brother. I don't know if it is his brother. It probably isn't. They just happen to have the same last name, but he's got good speed, good reaction. He's good defensively. He's really good contact. I like this guy. Let's get Damian Telshaw along with John Telshaw, <laughs> and let's just keep going with the Telshaw name. So now we've got the competitive balance round, and there's still some 80 potential guys in here. David Calderon is who we were looking at earlier. We should probably get a pitcher now that we've got two hitters. we got a first baseman and an outfielder. We need to get a pitcher. And Wow, Owen Tabata from North Carolina, 6'4", 226. He's got great stamina or potentially great stamina. This guy's got some good numbers across the board, good velocity, good arm strength. What about this Alan Gaskins? Not looking as good as the other dude. Uh, Rhett Cordero. Great arm strength. Great stamina. I don't, I'm don't. i liking this Owen Tabata guy. He's got just solid numbers across the board. Let's take Owen Tabata with the next pick. Now we've got round three. And there's still some really good players left on this board. Eric Lucero has great stamina. Great break. He can... Uh, He's got a four seam, a change up, a slider, or a slurve, and a sinker. He's from the Dominican. Uh, this guy's got some decent some decent numbers. Johnny Gomez, uh, Charlie Malgrat. I don't know. Oren Reeves. He's got he's 75 overall with 80 potential, but we don't have him scouted very much. So we'd be taking a flyer on, on him. He looks really good, but we just don't have enough on him. So if he's still here, I may take him. But I'm liking this Alan Gaskins guy. Or was it Alan Gaskins? Was it David Calderon? No, he's the speed guy. Who was it the one that I was like? Was it Eric Lucero? I think I'm... Oh, it was Eric Lucero. That's right. I'm liking this guy. I think we take him, and I got to remember Oren Reeves. Oren Reeves, if we get another pick, 
Let's take Oren Reeves. Is he still here? He is still here. He's probably going to be gone next time we come up to pick. I feel like, I know we don't have a lot of information on him, we don't have a lot of scouting accuracy, but I mean, he's got 75 and 80, so we might as well take a flyer on him. We already looked at him, so we don't need to look at him anymore. I'm feeling good about this draft. We'll have to wait and see how it looks when we get the final uh, results, but Michael Vaughn, we got some decent scouting on him. He's got some good control. I feel like we need to get another... Um, position player although there are some really good there are some really good pitchers potential pitchers still left uh is there any 80 potential fred lynch we don't really know a lot about him john telshaw and, and damian telshaw i like these guys all right let's go to all let's go to potential johnny gomez What's he looking like? He's a lefty righty. He's going to take some time to develop. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what to do here. This dude's from Florida. Pedro Escobar. Really good contact. Who's got the best power left in this draft? So, Ronald Flores has the best power versus lefties. Carlos Valdez has the best power um, versus righties. What about the best contact? Connor Germain has 80 80. Connor Germain. This guy looks like a solid player. Shortstop, 70 potential. Wow. But uh, Leon O'Connor, ooh, Leon O'Connor, he does, he has more power than uh, Germain does or German. But he's got better stats, overall stats. I like this Connor German guy. Let's take him. He's got great contact. He's got decent enough power. Although Ronald Flores, Ronald Flores has really good contact, really good power. But we don't know a lot about him. That's the only thing. We know more about this uh, Connor German, German, Connor German guy, and we know more about this Leon O'Connor guy, which is why I kind of want to take him. Let's take him. I like that guy. He's got really good overall stats across the board. Uh, if O'Connor, oh, I was gonna say if O'Connor's still there, we'll take him. But he just got picked in this round before us. So let's go to the best power that's left. Carlos Valdez has 70-70. Who's got the best speed? Jackson Palmer. He's got decent contact. He's not the greatest fielder. Greg Loftus. Wow, Greg Loftus has good speed, good power. We don't know a lot about him, but he might be worth taking a flyer on him. Especially with the power numbers that he has along with it. Better power numbers than Jackson Palmer. He only has 65 potential, though, which is the problem. Uh, what are these guys looking like that we have left? Michael Vaughn. We have some decent numbers on him. Jeffrey Diaz. Wow. Not very good power numbers. He looks like a contact hitter. Hmm. Um, is there any pitchers with, like, some crazy power? No, it doesn't look like it. You don't usually get that, where you get pitchers with some with crazy amounts of power. We know a lot about Ivan Perez. He's a good stealer. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this Michael Vaughn guy. Good control, good velocity, good break, good stamina, good uh, hits per nine. Or do we get Jeffrey Diaz, who's got great contact, great plate di uh, bliss plate vision, but that's about it. I'm, I'm thinking we take Michael Vaughn. Let's take Michael Vaughn. That's probably the last pick of the draft, too. I don't think we go any further than that. Yeah, that's right. We come to an end now. 
All right, so that was a pretty good... Um, that was a pretty good thing. And John Telshaw has 93 potential. This is amazing. Look at this draft that we just pulled off here. This is a fantastic draft. View the player card. So John Telshaw has a potential. Wow. Lefty, lefty, first baseman. His power's already in the 60s, along with his contact. He looks like just a beast of a hitter that could grow into. And then his brother, Damon, uh, Damian Telshaw, has just amazing defensive stats. Good speed. He looks like a solid player. Owen Tabata, our first pitcher taken. Great stamina for a young pitcher. Good clutch. Good arm strength and accuracy. Eric Lucero, great stamina. Great break. He's got nasty break already off the rip. And then we've got Oren Reeves, who we took a flyer on. He turns out to be a very decent prospect. See potential, but I mean, he's got he's he's good. He's got some potential. Uh, Connor Germain or German. This is the the guy with the great contact that we took and the great defensive stats. And then Michael Vaughn, good velocity. All right, I'm happy with this draft class. All these guys could potentially be on the roster. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. You don't usually get that. But all these guys are, I'm assuming, going to be very productive in the minors, especially this John Telshaw guy. I'm super excited about this dude. He looks he looks real good off the rip. I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's offer him a contract right away. Uh, let's offer him that. He's accepted that. Let's get all these guys signed up for some big, big-time deals. Owen Tabata, let's get you signed up. Eric Lucero, we want you. Oren Reeves, we want you. We want Connor German, and we want Michael Vaughn as well. Let's get all these guys on the roster. Get them to the minors as quick as possible. I'm excited about that draft class. But now, we are only five games back of the Dodgers. And we are on a huge win streak here. We are on a, uh, we're nine and one in our last 10 games which is absolutely crazy. We are currently five games back as you, as we saw. Uh, All-star voting, do we have anybody that might make the All-star team? Denilson's kind of close to making the All-star team. Uh, as for relief pitchers, Mark Melanson, 6-0 and for Mark Melanson. Good job for him. Drew Pomeranz is there as well. So we got some relief pitchers. Uh, catcher, I'm not seeing our... Is that our catcher? That's our catcher, Bra uh, Brady Amar. 16 uh, strikeouts. I don't think our catcher is going to be in here. No, first baseman. Max Muncy's right there. I don't think he'll make it. Second baseman. Jake Crowenworth is in the running, which is good. Third baseman. Manny Machado's in second, so he'll make the all star team. Uh, pff, I'm sad. I'm sad. Fernando Tatis probably would make the All-Star game if he didn't get hurt for that month. He could make a crazy return. That would be pretty awesome if he if he got to the All-Star game, even though he, he got hurt for a month. So we're going to have a few All-Stars, but not a crazy amount. Uh, the awards list. Freddie Freeman's winning the, the uh, MVP so far. Cy Young is Trevor Bauer. You would assume so. Batting title is Will Smith. Joaquin Soria is the reliever of the year. Dalton Varsho is rookie of the year. Freddie Freeman Hank Aaron Award. Alec Mills is Gold Glover pitcher. Uh, Travis Diarnod catcher. Rizzo first base. Ozzy Albas second base. Third base is Travis Shaw. Dansby Swanson. Marcelo Zuna. Kevin Pillar. Mookie Betts. Zach Davies. Will Smith. Freddie Freeman. Ozzy Albas. Manny Machado. Third base silver slugger. That's a good sign. Hopefully. We can uh, turn this season into something really good, make the playoffs and, and do some damage in the postseason. Uh, I think that's going to be the rest of the video. I think that's going to be the end of the video. And the next video will probably be the All-Star game. So, yeah, I, I will... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Make sure to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. I'm going to go simulate to the all-star break, and then I'll start. we'll start there in the next episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!